Authorities again bracing for the arrival of hundreds of migrants this weekend. I'm Natasha Paloma. I'm Daniel Marin, and some of the groups taking in these people say they once again need help. KTSM 9 News reporter Tatiana Favela live to explain. <laughs> The city of El Paso tells me it doesn't have any set plans for providing shelter to the hundreds of migrants being dropped off here in the borderland by federal agents. Now, as we first told you last night, the city's Office of Emergency Management had planned on using Nation's Tobin Park Rec Center behind me as a regrouping location. But today, one local nonprofit is calling on local churches to help out. My concern right now is that, that ICE has already let me know that the numbers for this weekend are going to again be very high and I can tell you that I don't have that capacity. Ruben Garcia is the director of the Annunciation House, a faith-based organization providing assistance to migrants. He says the group is trying to prepare as best as possible for the surge of migrants expected this weekend, as many as 600 to 700 refugees per day. Garcia tells me the numbers will stretch Annunciation House beyond its capacity. I'm spending my time trying to increase that capacity. I may be able to increase it a little bit, but I know that I'm not going to be able to increase it to the level of the number of refugees. Following local, state, and federal guidelines, the city of El Paso says it has no plans to open facilities to house migrants. A city spokesperson says local tax dollars will only be used if there is an emergency declaration from the state of Texas. This has not been identified as an emergency situation by the state, by the governor. The governor has not called an emergency situation, so we, we have no way of, of getting reimbursed from the state for the funding that we would we would put in if we were to open up a warming center of any kind. Regarding the need for donations and volunteers, Garcia says the large number of local faith organizations could make all the difference if they take in 20 to 30 refugees per week. Right now, but just for the next couple of days, it would be extremely helpful if, if in your audience there are members of faith communities who would say, you know what, um, they need space for this weekend, I'm going to look into the possibility of my church receiving refugees for this weekend. You know, so I, I, I would hope that someone listening would, um, would respond. And if you want to help with the continued flood of migrants to the borderland this weekend, you can help by donating items to Annunciation House or by volunteering your time. Live in Northeast El Paso, Tatiana Favela, KTSM 9 News.